involving a dangerous driver on the streets of downtown Los Angeles. So, Mayor, I appreciate you. Thank you. This is a live look from Sky Fox. This is uh, a pursuit that is underway in downtown Los Angeles, according to our Extreme Nav Technology, East Pico Boulevard and South Central Avenue in the downtown area. This uh, is LAPD is on the case right now. What we're being told that this is a grand theft auto suspect driving erratically, driving the wrong way many times. So if you know anybody who's coming home on this Monday night in this particular area, please let them know and to stay clear of this dangerous driver. So again, we had to break away from that interview to bring you the latest this dangerous situation in downtown Los Angeles. This, we picked it up, Sky Fox picked it up in South LA. Now this driver uh, in the downtown area and with the sunlight on it from the chopper, the night sun, I should say, as we're seeing him try to scoot or the suspect, I shouldn't say him because we don't know if it is a male or female driver, getting through, needling through this intersection there. It's a truck. We're working to get the make and model. Again, this is a grand theft auto suspect uh, in downtown Los Angeles, LAPD. Uh, is on it. All right, so we're seeing speeds, by the way, uh, reckless in itself, 70 miles per hour at some point, and, and certainly that's well be, uh, beyond the speed limit. Jonathan Novak, uh, you've covered these with me for some time now, and now we're seeing it oh. make its way uh, to the freeway. This is when it gets particularly dicey. Right. Yeah, I was actually just going to say they're pretty much contained in the downtown area. <clears throat> if you look at any of the any of the um, the highways around downtown right now, they're going to be hitting at, in one former fashion some kind of a, of a jam up so uh, you know that will obviously be interesting to see which direction they head um, I was hoping they could have just kept this there into the uh, side streets within downtown but now it looks like uh, they are getting on to which highway they uh, are getting eastbound 10 and in, in fact eastbound this 10. is or that oh, back now we just the got off. Streets. Yeah, we, we we've seen behavior like this before, where uh, the suspect doing everything that they can to stay out of custody. They go from surface streets, drive erratically, uh, going the wrong way yet again. Night sun on it, and then they'll try to make a getaway to get on the nearest freeway. This is close to, by the way, where that 10 freeway was shut down. So right. you've been checking traffic. Right. Now we're in the downtown area. Obviously, it doesn't look to be as busy, and it looks like we're going throughout down some maybe back alley smaller road here this is yeah, uh, this east olympic boulevard and okay. central east city east uh, again in the downtown area traffic is very light where they are it looks like an That's industrial right. oh stopped reversing was there I, i'm seeing some okay oh. this is interesting <laughs> backing through the black and whites down below I've not seen this before, and literally, so officers are having to turn around. This it's is like a very a good driver, literally reversing its way out of, it looked like it was a dead end there, and now it's underneath the, f the underpass, it's still reversing. Jonathan. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, my jaws dropped. I'm just, it's like out of a movie, <clears throat> the fact that they can even do that. Uh, but that's, talk about dangerous driving forward through downtown in busy areas. They're uh, not even driving forward, they're driving backwards now. And I don't even know what, what they're hoping for. Uh, they've got to be able to box, box in this, yeah. this suspect at this point. I, I mean, imagine. it's been going for at least a half mile, easily reversing. This is something else. Wow. I, I've been doing, uh, I've been in LA for 10 years covering these pursuits. Oh I've never gosh. seen the, the reversal like this. And yeah. now, yeah. and the intersection now gets to go, get, manages to get away, manages to get away just like that. Wow. Yeah, hopefully they can get um, some kind of, you know, spike strips. I'm not sure what they're obviously, we're not sure what they're planning here, but um, that would be, that would have been a good spot maybe to put something out, but I don't know how, it takes some time to get that organized in the first place, but. It looks like man, we're going dangerous. back. That uh, was, very dangerous. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're going back on the 10 and we'll see if it's just sort of the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the 10. Uh, eastbound 10 again. So it looks like to be a blue pickup truck, working to get the make and model of that. On the 10, uh, wouldn't surprise me if they get off yet again to surface streets. Uh, folks, if you're just joining us, you just missed something that we have not seen. Uh, now we're on the North 5. Uh, and now, Jonathan, if you could yeah. check traffic uh, sure. flow here. Um, well, if they're on the 10, they're heading, to, if they're going on to the North 5, I mean, they're going to hit some traffic. Uh, um, 
pretty soon as they approach where the 110 is, um, they're probably going to come down to, looks like about traffic that slows down to about uh, 15 miles per hour. So they're going to get jammed up there. Um, really, anywhere you look on any of the stretches of any of the highways around downtown, there's red showing at some point. So they're going to have to contend with that and probably exit again here, I would imagine, pretty soon. Very dangerous driver, uh, an, a grand theft auto suspect said to be behind the wheel of this pickup truck, blue, working on the make and model. Uh, and, and we picked it up in downtown Los Angeles now, uh, dangerously driving on the uh, 10 freeway. You see the black and whites behind him. LAPD is the lead agency. Oh, trying to scoot over here. Let's see if if, if it gets stuck. Yeah, there's there. Yeah, <laughs> trying to veer off to the right trying to make a move and on the shoulder as it this driver is now getting off choosing to get off mm -hmm. because there was nowhere to go yeah they're gonna have, i mean that's that's gonna be i would imagine the situation that's just we're just gonna keep seeing that until they give up uh, or until the, you know they the police uh, the sure. officers can can contain this because there's just nowhere to go i mean they they're they're con right. they're boxed in so now this is Again, checking the Boyle Heights area, East 4th Street and uh, Chicago Street, just passing through here now. Uh, driving on the right side of the street, uh, always good news, but we've seen the wrong way driving. We've seen this suspect be able to stay out of custody in reverse for some time, almost came to a dead end and then reversed its way out despite having plenty of LAPD officers right there. So this uh, driver is very lucky to still be on the run coming up on this intersection here stopped because this uh, unsuspecting driver there had the right of way. Uh, it looks like they ran a, a red light there. And we're just making our way through Boyle Heights and just the strategy when we when we think about how to bring these to these pursuits to an end. You mentioned, uh, you know, spike strips could be an option. Uh, well, when traffic is heavy, that makes it very difficult. We have Kevin Takumi joining me now. He has covered these um, from Sky Fox for many, many years. Kevin, uh, what are your thoughts on this as, as we watch this in, in the Boyle Heights area? Yeah, they're not staying too close on this, as we we're, were seeing here. The airship's not lighting it up, but the driver is still going through a lot of red lights, going around traffic a little bit on the oncoming traffic here and it looks like they're looks like they're in, they're in tracking mode so they're just kind of watching this but they're even though they backed off we're starting to make our way <clears throat> looks like from Boyle Heights towards the downtown area and you know as speeds really going ramping itself up here without any pursuing vehicles right behind the suspect and in terms of bringing it to an end uh, the spike strips that's not necessarily feasible right now. The pit maneuver, the speeds are within that range because it can't be beyond 35 miles per hour, but you always have to take the traffic into consideration. There's just too much of it. Yeah, there's right now there's just a lot of traffic. Everybody's on their way home right now. So you have a lot of not only vehicle traffic, but pedestrian traffic in this area. So that pit maneuver is really not even authorized probably at this point because Things are so erratic, you know, he, he's stuck in traffic now. He's jumped up here to 50, 60 miles an hour on a very small street. Got some uh, truck traffic ahead now. He's using the wrong side of the road here, mm. trying to get away. But you can see there are no pursuing vehicles. So the right. airship is just tracking this vehicle from the air. And this uh, this suspect still driving very erratic. When, when you mentioned that the LAPD is now in traffic uh, or uh, tracking mode, that simply means, oh gosh, as this pedestrian is trying to make his way, her way uh, across the crosswalk there. Um, tracking mode is when LAPD backs off on the ground because it's just too dangerous. They make that assessment when it gets too dangerous. So they made that assessment tonight. But that doesn't mean that they don't have the LAPD airship above near our Skyfox keeping a watch on this very dangerous driver. So this is South Indiana Street and Beswick Street, Boyle Heights area. Wrong way. Uh, Coming into a lot of traffic here. I did see a night sun pop up there. So they are, the airship is on top of it. And they're just kind of, <clears throat> they're following it here. But once again, there are no black and whites with their lights on behind it, but they are kind of moving, coordinating themselves in the area here. The airship, as it tracks them uh, above here, telling those ground units where this pursuit is headed. 
But as you can see these speeds here going up to 80, 85 miles an hour here on Olympic Boulevard, headed eastbound back into the Boyle Heights area. But going through, that was a green light, but several red lights we've blown through. You had that pedestrian that was in the roadway just a few moments ago. So, but you can see once again, a lot of heavy traffic starting to build up here. Those lights kind of running in the edge of the green and hitting some reds here. But now he's trying to get around some traffic here. He has used the wrong side of the road at times, but uh, another, another light's gonna come up here and that's gonna slow things down. All right, Kevin, well, joining me in studio is Christine Devine. Mm. Uh, Christine, you've covered uh, uh, many of these. Uh, I know we want to rack the video in case our viewers missed it of that moment. Yeah. Were you watching when this Show happens? Show me. Tell all. What happened here? Uh, look at this. So it, the, the suspect literally came to a dead end, oh, we think, wow. and then reversed his way, his or her way out. Now we just hit somebody on the live picture, so I was distracted for a moment there. I f forgive me there. So now, Christine, just clip somebody he's out running. Running. making that flip yeah, Now he's out and running. All right, so that was a very dangerous pursuit. You have that night sun overhead as a suspect is trying to make a run for it. Not at an overly fast speed here. My concern is for all those people that live oh. in this neighborhood, suspect going down, dropping he, stuff, he dropped, dropping some he gloves, some, he dropped fixing some items the now. It's yeah. hard okay. to see what exactly what it was. The airship's, airship's kicking on track of him as, as he's going through this neighborhood here. So those ground units are going to be getting into position as the airship calls uh, the path that he's taking on foot here with uh, getting into very residential area, going yeah. through those apartments and now into uh, area where there are homes here, are multiple uh, multi-dwelling homes as well, apartments. You can see going through this area, but he's still kind of not trying to hide well, too much, just on the run. It, it, we should also note in that tracking mode, because they had backed off, while we are seeing the aerial shot of him, it's going to be a minute, and obviously that is the case, because, Christine, we've seen this happen many times. When they foot bail, then those officers are on him right away, but because they were in tracking mode, mm -hmm. maybe it's going to take a little bit longer. Well, looks like, too, he's not in an area that had a major street now because he's able to make some ground on the run here. There we go. There's a major street. You never know when an LAPD car could pull up right now and make this arrest. He's not running at a fast pace, but I am very concerned about those neighborhoods right mm -hmm. there, those apartments, those homes, children out, families out, people coming home from work. If you, you hear this helicopter overhead, you see this night sun, please lock your doors, keep your family inside. Gosh, you could use an LAPD car right now pulling up to make that arrest. I don't think he'd get away. Yeah, because he's now stopped uh, running. Oh, so trying to get and, in someone's and house. is walking. Oh, well, let's hope that trying doesn't happen. Trying to get happen. in the gate there. So he's w walking along South Fresno Street and East 8th Street in the Boyle Heights area. Night sun above him taking these steps. We'll see where this leads. Hopefully, if people are their home, they have locked their doors trying to get through, uh -oh. manages to get through a gate, is in, well, in and out, doesn't know which way to go, not going in. Looks it, it looks like some baby kind of attire there, uh, baby equipment there, which is very scary. Is this an abandoned type property? That looks almost... Apparently dog there's a sign that says porch, beware of dogs, so that could have been a really great deterrent for this person, for the suspect to not go inside, but looks like he is, in fact, now inside. And yeah, then I think out. there's eyes the on the dog, the probably. Dog. Yep, the dog yeah. has now scared this, this guy away. Something sent him away. Something sent yeah. him. Who knows? The dog. Oh, gosh. He's running. Maybe he saw LAPD officers on the ground. It looks like something lit the fire underneath him because now he's back to running mode on South Fresno Street, closest to Garnett Street. Yeah, still no signs of law enforcement close to this guy except for that night sun overhead there. The guy doesn't have a lot of steam in him. However, mm -hmm. he is going to yet another property. Gosh, uh, people, please keep your doors locked if you feel this helicopter oh overhead. That is somebody's porch right there. Can he hide from that night sun for just a little bit? How long could he sit there? Uh, that's very scary for anybody who lives in that area. That is very, very frightening. I certainly hope that those homeowners, people who are inside, have locked their doors. Obviously, now we don't see him. It's, is he still there? Oh, there, there he is. is. Coming back there he is. On cue. Putting his arms up almost as if, like, here I am, surrender. That looks, that's interesting. 
behavior. And he's just kind of he's kind of running out of steam there with the air units trying to get some ground units yeah. back into it. So this is one of those moments we've seen it before where if you are in tracking mode uh, and they made the decision because it's that dangerous, then once they foot bail, it takes a, quite a bit of time to get those units there. Kevin? Yeah, you got a unit oh, that's pulling one. up right now. There's one. Just that's under the tree. Up. At least yep. one or two units pulling up right now. Okay. He's, he's tired out. He's tired yes, out. Yeah, he's going to give up. He's surrendered. Just... Well, you, you saw there he tried to stop into a couple different properties there and realizing that was not going to go well for him in the long run. The suspect uh, pursuit coming to an end right here. It was such a dangerous pursuit. Now, we talked about the police backing off. You know, it's the holidays. That was a big, heavy truck. We've seen way too many innocent fatalities mm -hmm. after a pursuit. You can understand why, with LAPD or any other law enforcement agency, why there's a lot of concern for the public right now. If someone's really dangerous, we're talking about innocent loss of lives here. Yeah, as we're looking at the, the bigger picture there is that moment that he was able to reverse his way out of getting into custody and now he is officially in custody as LAPD officers approach him. He does not resist and those handcuffs have been placed on this suspect. This is uh, in the Boyle Heights area, East Fresno Street, where this has come to an end. So. Uh, the danger there it has ended as he will be hauled off and uh, you know it took a little bit of time but thank goodness he is in custody and nobody got hurt and nobody as nobody far as we hurt. know nobody got hurt so that that's the best news that we can report tonight